give the people what they want. I hope they're ready because they're going to have guns blazing. Great. How's it going? Is that a bob? Hold on now. It's Ray Ray. Didn't Ray. tell me Ray Ray had her Ray, special Ray, hold on. seats. Hold on now. Okay, so. So, Arena. <laughs> explain to me what we can expect from today's reunion. Oh, my God. Oh, wee. Now, this is going to be fireworks. Jamie, what we doing? We clearing the air. We got to get some straight. How y'all doing? I got a full team here. Yes, a full team to glam the queen. Where's your man, Winter? Has he fallen off the grid? Which, who are you referring to? Yusha, your man. <laughs> oh, shoot! Hey, baby! You look gorgeous! Oh, I love this. Are y'all nervous? We have to clear the air with the sweep. I'm ready for the pain. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Matter of fact, be ready for the petty. Oh, the petty! <laughs> Who is it? Oh! Oh, oh stop it. Oh. Quick! Well, I'm Y'all look great. What's your goal tonight? I just feel like there are so many misconceptions. I feel like this cast of 2B actors has done a piss poor job. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for the hole to crawl back in, mm -hmm. but I can't find one. <laughs> wow. She's never going to win an Academy Award. <laughs> this is going to be a wild ride. Everybody should get mic'd up. Everybody's mic'd We're ready. We need energy, people. We need energy. All right, stand by everyone. All right, here we go. I don't, I mean, do I need to, you know, you know? You, know, back, you sure, because this, because I'm not playing with these people. Five, four, three, two. Welcome to part one of the Love and Marriage DC reunion special. This season, our DC cast maneuvered through complicated friendships and tough family dynamics. When our couples navigated some serious communication breakdown. And tonight, we find out who in DC is really popular, and who's really just being heady. It's showtime. On the Love and Marriage DC reunion special. So welcome back to the reunion. Well, for these two couples in winter, but welcome Joy and Clifton. <laughs> <laughs> So how does it feel to be on your first reunion? Oh, this is great. I mean, we made it to the end. <laughs> OK. OK. Was that something you thought you would never do? Um, no. I mean, we're in it to win it. Um, this experience has been great and learning experience. OK. Yeah. What about you, Cliff? Don? I mean, we went to the end game one time before, so here we are again. You've been to other games that didn't end well. So, Winter, it how's it going? It ended great for us. It ended great for us. It ended great for us. It's going amazing. You look great. Thank you. So how does it feel to be part of the main cast and not just a friend? I earned it. Have you? Yeah. You earned the D? Well, I don't know if I've earned the D, but I've earned the fra. OK. And I feel like we're working to the D. I feel like you now have Ashley's D. Quick, don't, don't be alarmed. I'm Do good. I? OK. I Ashley's D. Well, according to what I'm seeing on the internet, you two are like traveling buddies. Y'all hang out with, with my bells and my other cast members across the franchise. So what's the latest with the two of you? Well, we just hung out last night. We did. Oh. <laughs> Was it Raina invited? No. Oh. oh. I'm so glad. <laughs> oh. oh. I oh, slept well. You did? Next to my husband. Next to that D. Yeah, that's me. But you didn't have this D. No, he no, doesn't, probably doesn't D. get D over there. Either. I don't need that D. Oh, Lord. <laughs> mm -mm. That D is sour. Girl, that D is That D is old. Sad. Why are you so worried about me, though? No, she's the one talking. Jamie, you know what? And I, I wasn't talking to you. Okay. You okay. were okay. okay. I didn't say you <laughs> Come on. Oh, <laughs> What are you talking about? Wait, wait, I, 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 I know the you D, all have amnesia, D, the but they're hard of hearing, maybe. All right, so let's move on. OK, go ahead, Carlos. All right. This season, Jamie and Arena face challenges on all fronts. The Tyler's tried their best to make it work. Let's take a look. 
I could talk about some stuff you did in the past. Right, what did I, I do? What did, what did I do? Where was the same energy five years ago? When I'm looking on social media, this dumb ass <laughs> your partner was posting. Problems that we had in the past just keeps coming up. One time that you think something was going on, every chance he gets, he throws it in my face. And it's unfair and it's ridiculous. I'm telling you, we're going to make these videos, whether you like it or not. Oh. Uh, excuse me, drinks. Wait. I'm not I'm not I'm I'm not but you can't say it like I'm saying it like that. Why are you coming in here talking about creating content at my wig launch? Where is this coming from? Bye. Bye, because Jamie, what you, you can talk like a rain and is not cool. You talk to her like this again, like I'm not cool with it. All right, bye. They can leave. So here we are. Jamie's been drinking. Jamie's talking crap every time. He's a small brat. These 20 something year old kids born in the 90s are all the same. They're entitled from people like me and Quick. Jamie. Like, one, he was sauce. It was your birthday party, and I feel like Jamie was Jamie, the one that, Jamie was he celebrating. Was gone. <laughs> Everything was good up until. Up until I heard. James Todd. This one right here. Jamie, you, was you on that bottle? Jamie's a great guy, but when, when he starts drinking, like, I don't know if he turns into a different person, he becomes angry. And Jamie, I'm not picking on you, but when you get sauce, you turn into a different Jamie. All of our friends know that when Jamie starts sipping, he's going to be extra, extra. Y'all throwing Jason an all black. Yeah, we're all black now. Mm -hmm. Going away party. I'm going to miss him. Everybody looks fantastic. And I could just feel the love. How does he come in? Dad gives me this look and say he want to talk. I'm lost. I don't even know what you want or why you even want to talk. We here for Jason. Let's celebrate Jason. Stop playing with Sean. What you want to do? There's always an argument between the two, and they can't never uh, be at peace. You need to get it in your heart to say, I'm going to do this for me and make these people proud while they still here. Do you hear me, man? I'm, I'm, I'm... <laughs> I'm serious, right? You gotta stop shutting down, man. But I'm trying to explain to you, it might not be the I got going on in my head, too. When the last time we hung out, me, you, and my father, we don't hang out no more. When Jason come home, they playing stuff with him. Your father doesn't want that negative energy around him. Jason is worse than me. His mouth and his attitude is worse than mine. I always come second to whatever y'all got going on. Why even compare me to your son? Well, if you want to talk so, about so what's whack, let me explain to you what a bad kid is. A bad kid uh, gets in trouble with their parents, gets in trouble with the law. Now I, got, now I don't want sense. my son to be like 26 with no job. Why, why the what the I said? I'm the same that always got your back. Maybe you took this as malicious. It wasn't malicious. Talk to me in the right way. One of the things we saw in the package is your enjoyment for drinking, right? Um, a lot of people have accused you of being an alcoholic. Uh, Who accused me of that? Well, a lot of people believe that you drink what too much. People? What people? Some of your castmates believe you drink too much. Oh, okay. Do you think Jamie drinks too much? Apparently, Jamie has been going around DC telling everyone that Ashley called him an alcoholic. Ashley has defended Jamie against alcoholic rumors. Ashley has defended That's Jamie right. against cheating rumors. Ashley has defended all of that. I'm but glad you defended him because we've done the same but, thing. But, with but you apparently, guys. Jamie has also been going around town talking about he can't wait for reunion so he can come for Ashley because Ashley called him an alcoholic. I've never called you alcoholic. I called you an ass I've called you plenty of other things. But an alcoholic, I have never called you. My husband's not an alcoholic. I don't Ashley, think so. Ashley, you drink As more I than anybody said, in this room. All right, guess what? I do. You do? OK. I've never called your husband an alcoholic. As I just said, I genuinely wish I would not, I would shut the f up when, some, when they did call me an alcoholic. Me, Jamie's not an alcoholic. But as I literally just said that to you, now you want to come back and throw shots at me, which is weird because I just saw your mother ass weeks ago and you speaking. It was not so all of this energy. Because energy. guess what, I'm a grown up woman. woman. Energy. When I so see people, I don't care. I don't care if we're not friends or oh, not. Please. I'm a exactly. goddamn grown woman. Girl. We could be cordial when we're out. Why would I not speak to you? Come on, come What's on. The Come on, actress. Listen to me. Come on. Listen TV to me. actress, I'm terrible actress. I'm a grown woman, little girl. Girl. I'm 12 years older than girl, you. Girl, I don't give a you was 80. not speaking and stuff, that's not no, me. No, not only did I'm you not speak, man, 
fault, Arena. I'm a classy Arena, the point that woman. I'm saying to okay. you is that, okay, you, you're a classy woman. We talk? Oh, I'm so let's, confused, let's, let's, Arena. Let's, let's, okay, let's so, talk about Arena, what I'm saying is you let's, didn't have this energy that you started with when I sat down on this. I would like to make one thing clear. If you come from my husband, I'm going to have something. Bitch, y'all didn't come for your mother husband. I just Bitch, bitch. I just Said, yes, Arena, yes. shut up. No, you shut up. All right, wait, everybody, up. just calm down. Coming up on the Love and Marriage DC reunion special. If it ever was to come out with proof that either one of you stepped on your marriage, is that a deal breaker for the two of you? You did say you was gonna handle me, right? Absolutely, I said. Did that. you? Did you handle it? I ain't think so. I, I so Ball me up. Uh, uh, I, I, I wish he, like, quick, quick, quick. Quick. I'm gonna say, Arena, please yes. shut up. No, you shut no, up. You need because to shut you up. know what coming for your husband is? I literally just sat here and talked about how I had to finish Ashley, your husband. Please stop. So Carlos. you don't understand. Go. So no. Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear from quick. Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear from quick. I will not be You will not to answer the question you asked. I will not be here. Okay, hold on. Air here, Arena. Ladies, ladies. Arena, please. Jamie, can you? I try. I will. Can I please hear? From DJ Quicksilver. Go ahead. I was just answering the question that you asked. Go ahead. This, I'm, I, it's, let's get back on topic. I don't care about none of this. Go ahead. The question you asked is that has Ashley or Indy Cast ever called Jamie alcoholic? The answer is no. Okay. The end. Stop. The answer is no. Ashley's never called him alcoholic. No. Ashley has defended him. Now, has, alcohol, has, has Jamie said alcoholic? Yes. Mm -hmm. That was the question you asked Jamie. He didn't answer that question. Ask well, Jamie both of y'all insinuated I drink too much. We never right on the TV screen. Hey, Jamie, Jamie you know you how? Hold on, baby, baby. Oh, I let you talk. I let you talk. Ashley, let me talk. Ashley, baby, let me talk. Ashley, baby, be quiet for thirty seconds, please. Go ahead. That's why I'm laughing because Jamie, you know how this go. You know how confessionals go. You know how people ask certain questions. You know, like I, you know how it goes. If somebody asks, do you think Jamie drinks too much? I don't know. Well, I need. Well, they'll ask thirty times. Nobody ever called you alcoholic. I don't think you're alcoholic. I don't. I drink. Okay, Jamie so drink. you answered the question. So Which, this is the nobody thing. Nobody thinks you're alcoholic. This, this is what I'll Do say. Do Jamie drink? Yes. Do I drink? Yes. Okay, this is the thing. There's a Damn. difference between drinking too much and being an alcoholic. I really want to make sure that's clear. What is it that you guys would like to clear up about the Tylers? Well, as far as the alcoholism issue, I've never seen anything like that. They're a fun, genuine couple. We have great times wherever we are, period. And truth be told, when he drinks a lot, he go to sleep. So. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> and you get no D right now. Up there. <laughs> Jamie, that was a joke. OK. <laughs> Shifting gears to little Jamie, the start of the season saw this very tumultuous moment between you and, and little Jamie. How are things going now with him? To be honest, he's, he's doing a lot better. Totally different person from back then. We were in a bad space back then. And ironically, here come the cameras. Mm -hmm. It's like clockwork. And what you saw was my frustration. He came around after we hadn't really seen him in a while. And the guy had his conversation. It ain't had nothing to do with no alcohol. I was pissed. If I was drinking water, he would've got the same attitude I had. Then what happened in the hallway, you saw all the footage. It escalated out there. And him bucking at me, it's not gonna happen. I think what we learned from little Jamie, he did speak about his mental health this season, which again, I want to applaud him for that because a lot of people don't talk about that. Obviously, Ashley, you are a big advocate for mental health. There's a beautiful scene between you and little Jamie. Have a conversation about that. How you been since last time I saw you? Recently, I just lost a good friend of mine. And it was ruled a suicide. You know, I've been dealing with it, but what could I have done? Uh, why was it important for you to sit down and talk with him? Um, because I saw a lot of myself in him. That scene was after, you know, after I found out he had, you know, talked about wanting to harm himself. It was after, you know, the big blow up with him and Quick. And, I, and even in that blow up, I kept saying, like, when Quick was angry and he was angry, I kept asking both of them to like stop because I saw like how hurt you are. 
Did you guys appreciate that Ashley did reach out and, and have that conversation with him? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think that helped him too? I think it did. Um, and he looks up to Ashley, so I'm sure that, you know, just being in her presence um, and having that conversation, um, he really was appreciative of that. We also saw this season that sometime it airs <laughs> while you guys are filming, and he had a very bad reaction to you quick when you said um, he was a bad kid. Mm -hmm. um, in this scene, we saw a lot of tense moments between, you know, you, the two of you. Why even compare me to your son? Well, if you want to talk so, about so what's what, 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 what's the best for you? Man, I can't what, tell. I want... When you heard how he felt, what did you make of it? Because at the time, you were visibly angry because you felt like, you know I love you, I defend you, I look out for you. And little Jamie, he just wasn't listening at the time. You know, I think a lot of times, especially when, when situations happen like that, when, they, when they're never addressed head on, mm -hmm. it escalates to something that it, it shouldn't be, it, it don't need to be. Uh, and like I say, I got number number love for little Jamie. I mean, I love him, he's a great, a great person. Um, did, did, do I feel bad now? And, 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 and ask her something to me, do I feel bad now for calling him a bad kid? Because I know that's not what I mean. I know social media making things out of contact. Um, and I, I understand why he was upset. I understand why he was upset. Um, but I, I'm glad the moment happened because now we got over it. Were you upset when you heard the bad kid comment too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And only because I think Quick could have just said, I used the wrong words and it would have been over. The labeling of being a bad kid was the problem. He's made many bad decisions, but he's not a bad kid. So in terms of little Jamie, so he's now working. Yes. And everything seems to be great with him. <laughs> How is Jason doing? Jason is doing great. <laughs> is he at doors still? He's or? still at doors. Okay. So he loves it. He loves it. He's doing really, really good. I can see a difference and a change in him. So this season, you two definitely allowed us to see more of your marital issues that you were having. But it seemed like a lot of it had to do with what happened in the past. So last season, we learned that while you two were still married, right? Not dating, but married. You were having conversations, Arena, with another man via Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the issue that is still rooting now in terms of it's still becoming a problem? Have you not forgiven me, Arena, for having those conversations in the past? Or do you feel like there's more to the conversations that you just don't know? Well, I would say I've forgiven her. We've moved on. But like you saw this season, something will trigger it. And then here we go again. And vice versa. What have you done in the past that she hasn't forgiven you for? Well, specifically, she was talking about, I guess, hanging with females. Um, she probably went through my phone before. So Were you sleeping media. with these females? No, it's conversation. Okay. That was clear. She made it clear. She ain't caught me sleeping with nobody. Yeah, I never seen him. What it was, it was conversations over the phone. It was text messages. And I can't say that it was anything bad. I just, I don't know what it was. I know Have you ever asked him? I never really did. At that time, when we were going through that, I didn't really have a voice. I really didn't bring it to his attention. I would just shut down and not say anything. I think what we're seeing here is the fact that you two decided, which again, is your marriage, but it appears that you two decided to just brush it under the rug. Yeah, pretty much. And not really ask the question because you don't want to know the answer. We didn't. Okay. No, we didn't have those deep conversations about it. I mean, we've been married for 27 years. We've been together for over 30 years. And if anyone can just say they have a perfect marriage, that's a damn lie. Every marriage has their deal breakers. And some deal breakers are cheating. Some deal breakers is abuse. Obviously, that should be a big one. If it ever was to come out with proof that either one of you stepped on your marriage, is that a deal breaker for the two of you? Depending on how long ago it was. If it happened, 20 years ago, you're fine. Uh, 20 years, I, I, I'm not entertaining anything 20 years ago. To be honest, I'm okay. Not. 
And what about you, Jamie? I know she ain't do nothing, so <laughs> you couldn't even tell me that. Okay. Sit tight for more Love & Marriage DC reunion. Coming up. Would I walk away from this marriage if things don't change? Would you? I would. <laughs> While the Tallers were juggling their family dynamics, the Silvas weren't too far behind. But starting new was a lot tougher than it looked. Check it out. All right, it's officially showtime, baby. This is the Quick Silver Show. We quit. Good work. What the is this quick old bitch? He's literally working more than he ever worked before. It is what it is, yeah. You know, Quick has been a workaholic since I met him. He took a little bit of time off this summer, but now we're right back into it. Are you excited? Very, very, very excited. I am a dance mom. Ashton has been dancing since she was three years old. It's like Tina Turner meets Beyonce and J-Lo. Tina Turner, Beyonce, and J-Lo are grown women. Some of these outfits are way too skimpy for a 10-year-old girl. Are you even coming to the competition? I've been to the competition dance, and I've seen you in those costumes. <laughs> to one. Quick does tend to miss out on them pretty often. How you feeling? Last time we got together, you couldn't talk. I got to go see a GI special. There's something going on in my stomach. So daddy is in the hospital. Um, this is the second ER visit this week. I am pissed with Quick right now because he's literally worked himself into sickness. So I went to, like, four doctors in two days. Could be as serious as you yeah, having to get, get surgery. surgery. I gotta go home to the clothes. I'm going home. Swear. She's oftentimes left to be by herself because Quick leaves early, or he literally just doesn't show. So I'm like, Quick, come on now. Speaking of marriage, how's married life? Things bother me just like they bother anybody else, but Quick is the exact opposite. He's so nonchalant. He acts like nothing bothers him. So when I'm talking to him about my problems, he's like, get over it. And that is mean. I have asked Quick to go to therapy multiple times before. He has never shown up. You and I, we've kind of been a little disconnected lately. I do hate always being by myself when I'm out with couples and things like that. Like, hurtful and it's painful. It's tiresome. We really need therapy or I don't know how much longer I will be able to stay in this same, like, hamster wheel. I do still feel like it's not where it needs to be. So, Quick, your work-life balance has been a huge topic since season one. Obviously, you've been grinding for 20-plus years, right? Mm -hmm. Your wife has been very transparent about, I just want to spend time with you. You've had health issues because you worked so much. At this point, where does the desire to keep working come from? Because you got the money, you got the wife, you got the kids. I think my desire now is, is not even just me anymore. My goal right now is I want everybody around me to be millionaires. So I, I use my success as leverage to help others. Do I still love working? Do I still love performing? Absolutely. It's crazy. I actually started a whole new radio show a week from the day. I enjoy working, and I think for me, I've been working so long, that's all I know. I've been doing it since I was 10 years old, and it's hard to turn it off. Making money is addictive. I don't feel like you can never have too much money, especially when you can use that money to help others, so. But what happens when you spend time making all the money and it's at the risk of your relationship? Um, it's hard. Um, I, I commend my wife all the time because I always say, if the shoe is on the other foot, I don't know if I could be as supportive as she's been my, not just our whole marriage, since I've known her. Ashley is stronger than me, and I will admit that like, I know it is. Like, it is a lot. I don't know how she puts up with it. How do you put up with it, Ashley? I said a lot during season one that I felt like a single married mom. Or, you know, our son is almost 16. That's a lot. I am the everything for my kids. Quick gets to come in and be fun parent. I don't get to just be the fun mom. That's just always been my life. I don't plan on living my life always like this. I could leave today or tomorrow and I'll be very financially taken care of. I don't have to ever work. I've never had to work. But it is, you know, something that I have thought about. Like, would I walk away from this marriage if things don't change? Would you? I would. Coming up. 
Everybody wants to be super successful until you are and realize what comes with it. Have you two tried counseling? I'm in therapy. She's in therapy. All the time. Why aren't you in therapy with her quick? Um. Do you think Quick has chosen his career over you? Yeah. Does that hurt you? Yeah. I've said this before. You said this to him? I've said sure. this to him. And what has his response been? I'm trying. His response is always that he's, you know, that he's trying. So Quick, you prided yourself on saying, happy wife, happy life. Mm -hmm. Are you happy, Ashley? Not all the time. What's the percentage of your happiness versus non-happiness? I would say like 50%. 50-50? So your wife is saying that 50% of the time she's not happy, mm -hmm. right? And one of the things that you said that I agree with, look, there's a reason why I don't have kids now because I do want to do everything you just outlined, right? But I think when you look at the choices you made in terms of marrying the love of your life and then having two kids who are growing up each and every day, and you tell me if I say something that is, is not your, your truth. I get the sense that when it comes to you, Ashley, it's just like Groundhog Day mm. every day. And my mom, who was a housewife like you, took care of the kids. My father worked. He had, you know, 10 kids and all that stuff. She constantly wanted to find herself. Mm. And at times, it made her depressed. She held it to herself. And there's no secret she passed away to breast cancer. And one of the things me and my siblings always talk about is when she took her last breath at 67 years old, was she happy? Because she gave everything to my father and the kids. Mm -hmm. And when I look at you, Ashley, if you were, God forbid, to die tomorrow, would you look at your life and say, I was happy? 50% of the 50 time. 50% of the time. Mm -hmm. Are you afraid that this is going to be your life for the foreseeable future? With quick working? Yeah. Yeah, that will always, that's not gonna stop. I do have to also put myself first. And a lot of times I felt like that was selfish of me. Mm -hmm. So I didn't do it. And now I kind of just do the things I need to do without feeling bad about it. But my kids are getting older now and they also understand. So you're okay with this being the next 10, 20, 30 years of your life? Of him working like that? Yeah. I mean, I don't want it to be. I don't know exactly what it is that Quick needs that he's looking for. I ask him, I don't know. You know, I try not to go back to like his childhood and all of that stuff. Quick had a lot of trauma that he is covering up and that he needs money to, to, to fill that hole and money ain't gonna bring his parents back. And it sounds bad, but they not. Your wife just says she's happy 50% of the time. What are you willing to do to change the workload? If I can change the way I work starting at this exact moment, I would. But you can't, Quick. But how? You didn't have to accept that job next week. I, I didn't, but I still enjoy what I do. Everybody wants to be super successful until you are and realize what comes with it. I honestly don't know how to have that work-life balance where Ashley's happy, I'm happy, and now business continues. I don't know the answer. Have you two tried counseling? We haven't. I'm in no. therapy She's all in the therapy. time. Why aren't you in therapy with her quick? I told her I'm open to therapy. I told her she just had, if you schedule, I'll show quick is, quick is 42 years old. I am not his mother. I am not holding his hand and walking him to the principal's office. If you wanted to do it, you would do it. My advice to you, Quick, as an entrepreneur, a person who works a lot and all those things is, I think you definitely need to have you and your team. The way you schedule your radio shows, your club appearances, your philanthropy, I think the next best step is to schedule moments with her. This is Ashley time. And your team knows whatever goes on, we gotta schedule around that time. That small step would go a long way. Coming up, the Petties have a strong bond, but did a huge secret put a few cracks in the foundation? We'll find out after the break. Coming up, Ashley felt bad about what she told Alicia. How she said it 
didn't sound remorseful. It because at that time, that it wasn't remorseful, Joy. I said to well, you. Well, then, if it wasn't remorseful, how the hell you think I'm gonna accept that apology? Welcome back to the Love and Marriage DC reunion special. It seems both the Silvas and the Tylers were forced to evolve this season. But when a new couple stepped in the arena, it forced everyone to step up their game. Joy Clifton, how are you guys tonight? We're great, thank good, you. Y'all went from ready to love to love and marriage. Well, we had to evolve as well. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Um, evolve behind closed doors, but we'll get to that later. Oh. Let's talk about the difference between taping Ready to Love and then Love and Marriage. What show is more difficult, Ready to Love or Love and oh, Marriage? Oh, definitely Love and Marriage, DC. Oh, hey! <laughs> Good. Well, moving on, these couples <laughs> might be an open book with each other, but there are no closed mouths once a secret gets spread around town. And after their secret wedding was revealed, Joy and Clifton found out the hard way that a small slip of the tongue can put a large target on your back. Take a look. Y'all just got engaged on national TV. I don't think I saw your ring. Oh. Okay. But I never really wanted to have a wedding. Alicia's like going in on Sherelle's wig, right? We'll say that. And I was like, Y'all may come off like fake or phony. I mean, damn, are these bitches talking about me and Clifton like that behind our back? It means you need to watch your back, always. Joey has invited me and Arena to go like wedding dress shopping with her. They were hashtagging the tile and the petties and they were all. I mean, are they married? Per yeah, they're married. <laughs> they are married? Yes. Alicia asked, were y'all already married? I said yes. We wanted to. But you didn't? No. I can see on her face that she's lying to me. Who lies about being married? Well, I just told her what you told me. I'm pissed. I mean, yes, we're married. You know, I told my mom, she was a witness, you know, and my close friends. <laughs> yeah, I made a mistake. I should have never told Ashley. So I reached out to you after spin. I wanted to apologize to you because I do really love you and I do know that I could tell I had hurt you. If you need time, that's fine. And that's where I'm at. I okay. do need time. I'm still processing. Okay. Ashley, you sat there and told something that wasn't for you to tell. So why don't you get the value of what it was that you shared? She's making it about her. I apologize on the phone. I apologize on text. Right. I apologize right. in person. Right. And it's not about her. It's about me. Well, guess we're done here. Are we friends? Are we allies? Are we enemies? Like, I have no clue. Oh, wait the f up. I know Joy ain't in my damn house and they speak. You didn't tell me you were coming. I want to talk to you right now. Honestly, I'm tired of being nice. I brought you into the show. Not Raina, not Jamie. So you making it seem like what, you you made me or something? No, that's not what you, I said. You made what, me and Clifton? What, what I'm because saying. Because Clifton and I was on the show before you. Y'all was on a game show. This is the most pompous I've ever heard in my life. She wants to thank you. Well, that's not how the you asked for. Thank you. Bitch, you didn't make me. I that right there is a level of mother jealousy, baby. What you jealous of? Am, am I a threat to you? Joy, 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 joy. That bitch. I'm sitting there making my way out the door. Next thing you know, I see this curly haired, barefooted troll sitting there stomping through the house. No, no, no. No, 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 I am hurt on the other side because this is why I don't do new people. This but bitch said I wouldn't be on this show if it wasn't for her. Enemies, bitch. All right, so first I want to make it clear that when Joy and Clifton first came to the show, you guys kept the wedding a secret. So let, let's talk about that really quickly. Why was it so important to not share to production? Because we didn't know, right? that you two were already married? Well, in all honesty, it was something that we wanted to have just for us, right? So we met on television. And then everything else that we had done after that point had been televised. So as far as that particular part of it, we just wanted to have it to hold to ourselves, right? So then, you know, I, I believe Joy got excited. She shared it with, you know, a couple of people. And then next thing you know, then it's, it exploded. So when Ashley 
revealed on camera that she told Alicia you guys were married. You lied and said, no, we're not, when she asked you, so are you guys married? Because said, that's one of those, like, what the f Ashley felt bad about what she told Alicia. How she said it didn't sound remorseful. It because said, at that time, it, that, it wasn't remorseful, Joy. I said to well, you. Well, then, if it wasn't remorseful, how the hell you think I'm going to accept an apology? How she said it didn't sound remorseful. It because said, at that time, it, that, it wasn't remorseful, Joy. I said to well, you. Well, then, if it wasn't remorseful, how the hell you think I'm going to accept an apology? Joy, I felt remorseful after seeing your face and then you lied, lied to my face and then I called you off I lied camera. To, I lied at that moment because I couldn't, I, it was one of those things like, ooh, I couldn't believe you did that, damn. Even with that, you said it to my face and it, how you said it didn't sound like you had an ounce of damn I'm sorry. And just like you said right now that no, I didn't. So then after the fact, when you choose this in a text message, I'm like, Joy, number one, I called you first. Let, let's not have, get amnesia. I called either you before way. we pulled out of either, that parking lot. Either I way. I called you. I called you and you and I talked on the phone. And you said, I'm gonna need some time. And I said, that's fine. I called you right after that. And I said, damn, I feel so bad. I called you back later that day. Like, I feel so bad. And I, that's when I sent you a text. And then we, you and I were not speaking. Yes. Let me ask you this. When she revealed on camera that, hey, I just want you to know, I did tell my best friend you two were married, and she asked you, you said no. You then told Clifton, and you said that Clifton told you when you told him months before that, that yeah, I told Ashley we were married, and Clifton, you said something along the lines of, she's gonna use that against you. Why did you feel that way about Ashley Clifton? Well, when I, first and foremost, I feel like when people start sharing things, they don't stay there, right? So, like, regardless if she knew about it and it hadn't came out, I've just felt like, based on what I've seen in actions, that she might tell someone. So, what, so, go so this, is, this is the thing, because everybody wants to talk. I don't, whatever it is you felt like you saw in me that I would use against her, if I wanted to use it against her, when it happened, I would have went to production and said, guess what, I'm tired of this boring ass storyline that they talk okay. about, are we, going to the, are we going to the courthouse? Are we going to have a big wedding? That's a lie. That's not, that's not a secret. That's not keeping something to yourself. You already had went to the courthouse. So if I wanted to use it against you guys, I would have went to Brent and said, guess what? They've been married for three, four months already. You that's what that? I would have said. If I wanted to be messy, your exact words at Seafood's given, y'all friend a trainer, right? Me, what are you talking about? Y'all told me who she was. What are you talking about? Y'all friend a trainer. I was like, what are you talking about? I mean, I ain't never seen nobody with a body like that be a trainer. Me, who are you talking about, Shrella? I said, that's what we're not going to do. You, the one that told me. I didn't even know about is her. Y'all were sitting there talking about her the same no, way. we were not talking about her. You asked body. was she a trainer, because I thought you were talking about somebody else. The same else. way, they, what, was this Seafood given when they were talking about her head? No, that's when, because Carmen okay. called you then, and you were on the phone with her for about 20 minutes while you were supposed to be eating crabs at the table. So you what? probably are a little confused. Carmen called you while we were all at Seafood's Given and we were eating crabs, messy with our hands, and you, instead of eating crabs, you were on the phone with Carmen for 15, Get down 20 business. minutes. Yeah. Get down some business. I mean, it was just odd, but whatever. Some things that you don't handle, though, right? I don't so have business. You got a lot of handle, business. You ain't hey, handle nothing that you said you don't handle. I don't handle business. Well, you talking about handling something? Out of what? I, I only got a new restaurant, oh, I mean, two, three schools. You said you going to handle uh, something club. before, right? Handle what? Say it again? You did say you was gonna handle me, right? Absolutely, I said that. When the man disrespects my wife, he gonna get handled my way, so I'm not who you think I am, man. I, you know, I can make it real uncomfortable for you. Okay. Did you handle it? We, I ain't think so. I'm, I'm, so, so. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say to you right now, I'm gonna say to your TV. Okay. If, I had, if I had real beef with you, your ass wouldn't be sitting there. You could walk around and see food. Oh, yeah. That's I'm a real scared. life. Okay, you should have did it. I, I, say, say last month. I, say I'm last. saying it here. Cool. Got it. I'll ball you up and roll you somewhere. Mommy, uh, uh, we're not doing I, I, that. I wish he, like, quick, quick, he quick. someone like, All right, guys, guys, oh, guys. Bull that. Doing scrappy dude. Sit the top down. Down. Me, boy. We're gonna move it. Scrappy dude. Move on. You see me scared? Clip it, clip it, please. All right, I'm good. Let's move on. Okay. All right, let's move on. I'm gonna handle business. You pay for Google. Google my net worth. I'm handle business. I'm gonna handle business. I'm gonna handle business. Unisex beard. I don't handle nothing. Kind of gotcha. handling that handle gotcha. I handle things a little different than yeah, you. Okay. We'll see. I'm so Get busy. That, because what the so people don't realize is it's not a TV show. That's why no, I can't no. Lie, no. I, I'm not lights, camera, acting for these motherfuckers. <laughs> so if Clifton really got a problem, quick, no, quick ain't gonna be like, 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 that's like a talking that dumb 
quick, quick. No. He literally said to me, I'm going to hand you. You ain't going to do nothing. You said you was going to hand him. You ain't handled nothing. Okay, Clifton. Don't be the security, man. Get out here, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. All right. You. You, bitch. Stop, stop, stop. I'm right here. Nah. I can't deal with this on purpose because I'm not going to do a dumb camera in my face. Because a lot of this huh? fake ass show, if any mother in here has something to say, everybody then I mean, Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's wait, let's wait till we on camera right. to that. say something. Don't be on camera. Say that Ashley. Ashley. Say that Ashley. No, 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 no. Next time on part two of the Love and Marriage DC reunion special. Bring your ass over here. Hold on. Uh-uh. Scrappy do ass. Who the threat somebody on TV. I was gonna try to figure out what I could do to hold somebody back, but I'm shorter than everybody. Everybody's so mad. Oh, I'm so big and bad. I'm big and bad. The whole second half would be different if that woman wouldn't have happened. You be lying straight to Clifton. Your husband has shown that he loves to argue with women. What? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You showed your mother ass this season. You did too, sweetie. I would honestly say that she's been the most consistent with how she's acted. Yeah, but it's up. Sherelle, do you think you should use Winter? Did you not tell one of our producers I'm, I'm, that you felt like I was a good opportunity? Well, be who I am. Yeah, and I'm you're an opportunist, so let's not sit here and pretend like you weren't trying to figure out any sort of angle you could to put yourself on Front Street. Wait, he's, wait, say that one more time. <laughs>